what is up? Welcome back to the channel, Lord Chrisberg here, and I know, long time no see, right? Haven't did a video for the whole entire month, I got really busy, and of course, I'm finally gonna make a collection video today, and hopefully this explains my absence for the past couple of weeks, and I hope you find it in your heart to uh, forgive me, and I wanna welcome aboard, welcome aboard, welcome aboard to the fuck, whoo, train! I can't do that thing with my hand I always do, because I'm actually holding uh, the camera right now. Uh, welcome aboard to all the new subscribers. Shout out to all the subscribers that's been here since day one and nobody unsubscribed while my uh, little hiatus. And I appreciate that. Now, I've been working on this really huge Funko Pop display for my Funko Pops and I think it's time now for me to show off my collection because a lot of people has been saying, hey, Lord Bird, do a collection video, man. I guess it's time to do that. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little dark right now. I'm using a different camera. Uh, before I start to show off the collection, uh, I just wanted to say I'm still the same collector I've been since I started this YouTube channel. I'm basically a common Funko Pop collector. I don't have a lot of the stores that you guys have at the stateside area, so it's hard for me to get exclusives. But if the exclusive is like in front of my face, then I'll go ahead and get it. But for the most part, it's a lot of common pops in my collection, so not much heat. Uh, maybe, maybe the ones that got vaulted, people might consider those grails. But uh, in all honesty, I actually got a lot of these Funko Pops uh, before the hype, and they were ten dollars when I got them. It's all good, right? Now, I know I've been saying that a lot, but you know, we got a lot of new subscribers, so I had to explain that. Now, let's go ahead and start with this little display behind my back. All right, so this little uh, display thingy holds about like 100 Funko Pops. So, up here, we're going to start with the Pac-Man Funko Pops. And the only Overwatch Funko Pop I have. Actually, I have Winston. I'll show you him in a little bit. But I want the Reaper, and that's about it. And I got the A-Team. I still want the Pop Ride that they have uh, going on for these guys. And the only Gears of War uh, characters that I wanted. I don't really play that game, but I think these really translated well in uh, Funko Pop form. And below that, we got the Minions. I know he's vaulted, right? We got Kratos right there. Peanuts. And over here we got uh, the TV show Strain, and I did not know that this guy was super huge. That's what she said. I, <laughs> I didn't know he was that huge uh, when he was inside the box. He came out, I was like, damn! And he's pretty heavy too. Uh, makes, it, makes it feel like your money was worth it. Now, below that we have Assassin's Creed, and I was so happy to get that guy right there. The Plague Doctor. We got Diablo right after that, and a bunch of games. I don't play League of Legends, but the f character design and the Funko Pops for them look really, really good. More games, there's Mass Effect right there. And over here we got uh, the Fallout Funko Pops. More game stuff. And some Disney. I did not know that I had the flock version of Stitch until I unboxed them right there. So that's pretty cool because I usually don't chase after uh, flock versions. And Duck Dynasty. Some Disney Funko Pops right there. Um, some book Funko Pops right there. The only two that I have from Fantastic Beast. The only one that I got from Labyrinth. And some Asia stuff, Ugly Doll, whatever that guy's name is, and some anime stuff right there. Alright, so that about does it for that display right behind me. And I forgot to mention, I know a lot of people make a lot of collection videos and they tend to be like 20 minutes long, 30 minutes long. And this is a really massive collection, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, try not to waste your time and just go through this really quick and uh, just make a separate video talking about them uh, in the future if that's all right with you now let's go ahead and move on to some of the pop rides and the six inch Funko Pops before I get to uh, the display that I want to show you let's go ahead and take a look at these cubes right here this is where I keep all my six inch Funko Pops there's Marvin the Martian one of my favorite pop rides Thanos and Lola Ghostbusters the female version, 
Uh, I know that movie kind of sucked, right? Some Game of Thrones over here. Above that, we have the uh, Back to the Future stuff. Rest in peace to that dude in the middle. This is the Fast and the Furious section. We got Adventure Time right there. Some more Game of Thrones with that chair from some Comic Con. And I got those um, metallic dragons from GameStop. Then we got Anthony, or Anferny, depending how you want to pronounce that, with Ant Man and Giant Man. Some Avenger stuff right here. And above this is the uh, Deadpool Funko Pops. There's all the gray dudes, the general release yellow version. And we got the red one. What the hell? Tape over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then above that, we got the male Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters with uh, the ride, Winston, who came with it, and Stay Puff. And the other three on top of that, of course, the classic Batman. Still looking for the. Uh, 66 Batman with the surfboards. Those are always cool and for some reason I do not own a Catwoman I don't know why but I will go look for her. Here's the Ninja Turtles and Above that is one of my favorite shows Breaking Bad all 10 Funko Pops right there with the uh, crystal mobile or whatever they call it and the uh, variants now let's go ahead and take a look at whoa, 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 whoa. Spoiler alert. Okay. Okay. There we go. Let's just block that off real quick. And over here we got some more 6 inch stuff. Songbird, he's been on sale so I grabbed him. Uh, Elliot did not get the other figure for that. Here's Winston, the second Overwatch character that I own. Sesame Street. And some more Sesame Street on that cube. Uh, I forget what the hell this is called but uh, it's... I bought it and if I knew that... It was just gonna stay at GameStop forever. I would have just waited on it. Magic the Gathering. These are the only two characters I have for that. Doom with their GameStop exclusives. Over here we got some Skyrim stuff. Naruto. Did not get the second wave, but I am looking for him. Probably the only one I'm gonna pick up uh, from this line that came with that box. That guy went on sale. Uh, I don't watch this cartoon. What is it? Something Titans? Attack of the Titans? I just thought it was funny that uh, this guy just looked inside out. There's Doomsday right there with uh, I think he's called the Hunter. Godzilla. King Kong ain't got ish on me. And of course some Harry Potter stuff right here. And the TARDIS. And I just put that doctor over there because he was just uh, he was just lying around. Last look at these nine cubes right here. There we go. All right. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's go take a look at this nine cube right here. Okay. Now below this are all the Funko Pops that were just random, and I didn't want to display them because uh, unfortunately I ran out of space. I thought the display I made was gonna hold all my Funko Pops but it didn't so uh, I only picked like the best ones, the colorful ones that I wanted and put them on the display. So these are the ones that I need to make a shelf for. There's about I'd say 200, 300 of these down here. Sorry about the lighting again, guys. All right, now, let's go to take a quick look at my new display right here. Each row holds about a hundred. Okay, so we'll start from the uh, top row. We got the Sailor Moon stuff right there. Independence Day. I forget what the hell that kid movie is called. Sorry about that. The, probably the only um, My Little Pony one I have. Planet of the Apes. Panda, Panda, Panda. <laughs> E.T. Hateful Eight. All the other Harry Potter stuff up there. Not complete, but I did show you that my other Harry Potter display earlier. 
Power Rangers, not sure if that movie is going to be great. But I picked uh, those Funko Pops up anyway. Arrow, Doctor Who. Super underrated Funko Pops right here, the Mun Stars. I really like them. MCR. Some cartoon stuff. There is uh, Sons of Anarchy right there with, um, I forget what the hell they're called. X file stuff. Vikings, really like that show. Okay, right below that is all my animation stuff with like TV and uh, all the other miscellaneous things. Bullwinkle, and here is American Horror Story stuff. Bill and Ted, oh, I really love that release right there. And uh, rest in peace to that man right there, Lemmy. Trump and Hillary did not get uh, Sanders. I will look for him. I don't have a lot of the um, sports Funko Pops, but I just got these three because they were just available. There's Gangnam Style Guy, Psy, Elvis, Run DMC, the Sex Pistols, B.I.G., and Tupac. Yay! So happy to have those guys. And the Misfits uh, mascot. Then there's Ozzy Osbourne, Karate Kid, Public Enemy, Amy Winehouse. We got uh, The Simpsons right there. Kiss. Loved eating this cereal when, uh, when I was a kid. We got Frankenberry and then Count Chocula. Uh, one of my son's favorite ones right here. The Teen Titans. There's them uh, doing a little cosplay. Beavis and Butthead, really love those guys. AC Jones, my one of my best pickups ever right there. Uh, Bebop and Rocksteady, their boxes are all damaged, but I'm just happy to have them. G.I. Joe. Friends, was just watching that earlier. Saved by the Bell, loved watching that as a kid. And below that are some more TV stuff. Sharknado. <laughs> uh, did not sit through the whole movie, but uh, the idea was just really funny to me. Of course, you got the Big Bang Theory next to Conan O'Brien right there. My son loves these guys. Yo, Gabba Gabba. In fact, uh, we use them as um, those things that you put on cakes on his birthday. And of course, Roger Rabbit. One of my favorite Funko Pops right here. Space Ghost. Good stuff. And Adventure Time, not complete because I used a lot of them on the uh, Pop Ride display that I showed earlier. We got The Matrix and whoever I could just find from the Game of Thrones. Family Guy, Pacquiao, there's that Oswang, here's those Street Fighter Funko Pops. There's the Flash Funko Pops. Three sci-fi dudes, really love that Martian right there. And I love this cartoon right here. Regular show was really heartbroken when my oldest son told me that uh, the show ended. Ouchie. And I wish they gave us more He-Man Pops. There's Preacher, iZombie. And notice how I put iZombie next to the Walking Dead uh, Funko Pops right here. I think the only one I'm missing is uh, Jesus and Carol. And the old Glen. But I got that Glen, so it's all good. Below that is the uh, Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops. Then uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Thundercats. SpongeBob SquarePants right there with um, some Funko Freddy's. And below them is, uh, what the hell is that DC show called again? I forget. DC Legends? Oh, here we got the Animaniacs. I'm, I'm missing Pinky and the Brain. Like, I am having a really hard time finding them. But I will get them. I got uh, these two from my other video as a gift from a subscriber. And then uh, I just added her on uh, this week. 
I'm sorry, I'm having a brain fart. I can't remember your name, but thank you for sending me all three and uh, helping me complete that. There's uh, some Futurama stuff. Willy Wonka, Astro Boy. Did not know that uh, that was metallic. So it, it was really cool to get these out of the box because uh, there was things that I did not notice about them. Like, oh look, I, I didn't even know. I forgot I had a Halo one. That's pretty cool, right? Master Chief. So anyways, uh, these guys were like metallic and uh, that freaked me out. And this one was pretty cool because I did not know that uh, his clothes were flocked. Look at that. Super awesome, man. And then we got some Sanrio stuff here. Bats Maru being my favorite one right there. And right below these guys is uh, Bob's Burgers. And a lot of the Hanna-Barbera stuff. You know, through my understanding, these aren't really selling good, but I really love how the CEO of Funko Pop, he really loves like Hanna-Barbera cartoons, and he admits that it's his baby. And even though it's not making a lot of sales, I think it's great because when Cartoon Network first came out, uh, these were um, the first cartoons that they aired uh, before we had Dexter's Laboratory and all that stuff. These were the cartoons that they were showing us, Hanna-Barbera reruns. Zorn, I should have put him up here uh, with the He-Man Funko Pops, but uh, it was a little too late. Make, oh damn, this right here, Obelix, Obelix, I don't know how to say his name, but I really think that they uh, look cool as uh, as cartoon characters, and he is really, really heavy. He's probably like the heaviest Funko Pop I've ever uh, held from the uh, four-inch line. Then we got the Mega Man. Check this out. Look at that. That's when uh, I did that Negan episode. Uh, watch that video if you haven't. That's where I hit that pink Mega Man because I got pissed off for getting him on that exclusive uh, GameStop box. All right, there's Qbert, Sackboy, and Sonic. I wish I got that whole wave. I just thought that they were gonna be available forever. And let's go ahead and move on to the middle. So right here is all my Marvel Funko Pops. So you got Loki up there, Guardians of the Galaxy, the X-Men row right here. Finally got that damn saber tooth. I'm going to have to make an X-Men video because I'm a big X-Men fan and I uh, was really happy to get Squirrel Girl right there. And below that is my Deadpool row. Here we go. Um, you guys know where I'm a big Deadpool fan. My very first Funko Pop right there. And it was a metallic Deadpool that I got for cheap. I don't know how much he's going for right now. But I'm just really happy to get him. Madcap. Some more Deadpool. There's that white Deadpool. I really love that one because I got it for Father's Day. And below that, we got like some New Yorkers right there. Taskmaster. The thing. I wish they gave us the whole entire Fantastic Four. Lineup that would be great. Some Stan Lee right there. The Avengers right here. I really like that Red Skull. More Avengers right here. If I'm going too fast, it's because I am running out of space on my uh, SD card. So just go ahead and pause it as I go through everything. There's the Kill Bill stuff. And below that, some WWE stuff right here. I think the only ones I'm missing is uh, Triple H and I forget that dude with the beard. Anyways, after that is my Disney row. I think the only one here that I like so much is that Ursula right there. Oh, and here's uh, some double packs. I really did not know where to put them. 
got the Joker and this WWE one right here. Above that Disney row is another Disney row. I really need to complete this with Elastic Girl. Cannot find her. There's that bell that uh, I got for for really cheap. I, you know what? I, I didn't actually even want to get this one because I didn't want to get the the princess Disney characters. Just not really into that. But I got her because uh, she was, uh, believe it or not, she was on sale. And uh, I guess if you're one of those people that's into like pop price guide. I go on there just to like look at the forums, but I don't really care about like uh, how much the prices go for because I'm not gonna sell these anyway. I just like collecting stuff. I'm totally gonna skip out on the ones that just came out recently. I'll probably get like two out of them. Son loves uh, that turtle right there. I like this Mickey Mouse right here. He looks all pissed off and stuff. Rick and Morty, one of my favorite cartoons, cannot wait to get the new wave that they are coming out with. Above that is uh, some Star Wars stuff right there. And some Nightmare Before Christmas. Muppets. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna complete that wave, but I do want to get Gonzo. And... Love that Funko Pop right there, man. I wish they made like a flock version for his mask. That would be sick. Some movie stuff right there. And uh, miscellaneous things all the way down there. Now, uh, above that is uh, all my movie stuff. I really want to complete... I forget what that movie is called, but I want to complete that wave. Slot. Love that character. Pulp Fiction. The only one that I got from the Hobbit movie. I wish I got uh, that dude with the pretty face. That would be funny to have. But he's a little pricey. Judge Dredd. Above that we got Power Rangers. Those head swaps that I did. And we got the original three that came out right here. So, uh, pretty glad I have them. But to be honest, I do like the sculpts on the newer versions better. Napoleon Dynamite, super funny movie. If you're into that kind of thing. Love these two right here Jay and Silent Bob. So, uh, basically, that this row and below is like my movie section, and above. This was a coincidence. It became my my horror row. And above that, more movie stuff. Dude, man! Shout out to everyone that got this guy. Like. If I could have two of Ace Ventura, man, I'd be so happy. I just really loved that movie growing up. Really liked how this translated into a Funko Pop from The Hangover. We got Ellen and uh, Baby Carlos. Dodgeball, love that movie. No one makes me bleed my own blood. One of my favorite quotes. And ending it with the Transformers. Now, uh, this is where my DC stuff starts. So we got the Suicide Squad. I didn't get Harley Quinn off of the animated series because I have a lot of Harley Quinns anyway. And she looks the same as all the other Harley Quinns. And here comes all the Batmans that I have. I know there's like a thousand more, but these are the only ones that I could get my hands on. And below that, we have Star Wars stuff.
more Star Wars stuff. All right, I got like one battery bar left, so let me go ahead and go do this real quick. I'm a big fan of comic book versions, so here we go. Here's the DC row right there. Penguin, Riddler. I know a lot of people are hunting those down. Two Face, Shazam. Uh, did not know that that one was gonna be rare, but luckily I got him when I had the chance. And there it is. Did I show that top already? Okay. Oh, here. Look who came out. Say hi, Zay. Hey. <laughs> How you like your new display? You like it? Okay. Say bye. Bye. All right. So, uh, yeah. Let's go to take one last look at uh, my new display. Here we go. There's the 9 cues with the ride. And this holds exactly I believe a thousand Funko Pops not including the ones in the bottom there's that other uh... there you go and I don't know what Zade's doing right there but and then we got uh, two other rows down below that still need to get unboxed what's funny is I didn't think it was going to take long to unbox these. It took me like all week just to do that and put them at, uh, in the order that I wanted them to be at. And just to make this whole, uh, the racks only took like a couple of days. So, <laughs> no idea what he's doing. Where are your pads, Aid? Alright, uh, <laughs> well thanks guys for uh, checking out my video. I will be back with season 2 of the Lord Chrisberg Show. And uh, you got one last thing to say to them, Zayd? Yeah! Welcome aboard! Welcome aboard the Funk! Choo-choo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. I'll see you guys next week uh, with a better edit. I'm sorry that... Uh, I know I said it was, this was supposed to be like 10 minutes long and it kind of went um, super long. It's a massive collection. And uh, I look, please tag me when you guys make collection videos. I really look forward to seeing those. All right. I promise I'll be a little funnier on the other episodes. I'm a little tired. It's 4 a.m. You guys have a good week. Let us. And thanks for checking out the video. You're new here. Subscribe. Choo-choo.